All right, guys, this is Nervous Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. And I took a couple of days off just to take a little bit of a rest, but I am back doing some daily content for Florida State football. And I really appreciate all the love and support. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So Patrick Sertain Sr. actually met with the media earlier this week and talked about an important aspect. I know a lot of people, when they made the hire, everyone was thinking, oh, man, what a great recruiting impact it is, having those South Florida connections, Louisiana connections, and having all of those recruiting ties that can be able to have Florida State successful on the field. But a lot of people don't think about, you know, we actually had a major upgrade in terms of development. I think you can do a really good job of being able to develop our defensive backs at a high level. And you look at it, coming from American Heritage, being their head, uh, high school head coach, and then also being a 11-year uh, NFL veteran in the NFL with Miami Dolphins particularly, I think that's very important because they have that experience and they know what it takes to be successful. Now, when you're looking at it, he said an interesting thing in, in, in a quote saying that um, talking about FSU's defensive backs, I think all those guys finished um, fourth in the country and passing yards allowed. I think one thing we need to do more this year is taking the ball away. Being around the football for a long time, if you win the turnover battle, you have a pretty good chance of winning 85% of your games. Although we had held teams to 165 passing yards a game, I think the next step would be taking the ball away and giving our explosive offense the ball repeatedly. I think that's very important to understand because Florida State's offense is going to be really, really good in 2023. So you have to give them opportunities to be successful. But your defense also has to play a part, too. And officially, when you look at it from last season, we were only able to force 16 turnovers last year in 13 games. That isn't the greatest in the world. You rank 86 in the country in doing so. And I think Florida State has to be able to continue to do that. The problem is you're losing Jamie Robinson, one of your leaders on defense, had 99 total tackles for last season and was ranked one of your best defensive backs from the previous season. But when you look at it, I mean, we have a lot of talented guys. But the problem is, Akeem Dent, you look at him, he had an injury against Oklahoma. We'll see how that kind of factors into the spring, how it factors into the summer as well, um, and seeing if he's fully ready to go by then. You got a guy like Jerry and Jones, who I think can be able to be versatile in doing what you want to do. Um, then you also got a guy like Ventral Cypress, a transfer that you brought in, a very talented guy from Virginia, I think can be a guy that you can turn to. Problem is, with those eight interceptions that you had by a season, you look at three of them went to Greedy Vance, who is a reserve defensive back at this point. Uh, did play pretty well in certain times, but I think, you know, you have to realize the question marks of kind of forcing those turnovers. And you have to also ask yourself, who is going to replace him? Will it be a Kim Dent with coming in there? Will it be a Shaheen Brown that everyone talks about from Lake City? I wonder if he's going to be able to kind of step up there. Will it be a Conrad Hussey that enrolls in the summer? I mean, you really think about it, a guy like Julian Armella that come from St. Thomas Aquinas that it that didn't enroll into the summer. What if he would have came into uh, the spring and actually been able to kind of get those reps and everything? Would he have been the starter at right tackle? That's just something you kind of have to wonder if we'll even see if he's a starter at right tackle this upcoming season. But just kind of looking at everything, I mean, that's just going to be something that you're going to have to really beg a question about because – when you look at it, can a cornerback like Jerry and Jones that's going to be playing some nickel and, and some outside corner as well, can he switch to safety? Can a Marion Cooper kind of resurrect his uh, last season and being able to do that? Because he had a hot start the season before, and uh, it just didn't really pan out this much this year. It looked like he lost a little bit of confidence, but hopefully he can get back on the right track. Can a Travis Jay that a lot of you talk about in the comments, can he resurrect his career after not playing last season? I think that's just something that you have to really think about. I think this is going to be something that – yeah, it's great now to talk about turnovers, and it's great to think about that Florida State can be able to make opportunities. We have a lot of talented guys in the room, but can they make the reasonable adjustments? Can Azaria Thomas be able to kind of do that? Uh, you know, Kevin Knowles, there's a lot of guys in that room that can be successful, but I just wonder what's going to happen. You know, everybody talks about Renato Green moving from cornerback back to safety again. I just don't know. I mean, he was one of our best corners, if not the best corner last season. So do you really jeopardize that development that he's had over there and turn him over to safety? We'll kind of see. But just overall, I think Florida State's defensive backs are what they are right now. I do think they probably add another safety body in terms of this. I don't think Jaheim Singletary is going to be that guy unless he is able to wait a, another semester to come in during the summer. We'll kind of see how that kind of pans out. But everybody keeps asking me about that as well. But we'll definitely just see how it goes. But I really appreciate all the love and support on my videos so far. Be sure to hit the like button. 
let's go ahead and get this up to about 70 or 80 likes. And uh, I really appreciate all the love and support. And as always, go Knowles.